Once again, we are back with the bad quality microphone, and unfortunately you'll see that we are beginning to tear down um, some of the, uh, the great, just great quality buildings. Great quality buildings. Uh, oh, great quality buildings. This, this one's the, the only one that I'm really sad about tearing down. That and this one obviously being uh, set for teardown as well, this being the oldest building in the city. Welcome back to... Uh, welcome back to Minecraft Earth. Uh, you'll, you'll see that there's some uh, different buildings around. Uh, obviously you can kind of see in the background what we're trying to make room for is a larger city square which will have a better view of this building and this building needs a good view because this is the planned capital building this is a stolen design oh shit. uh this is a stolen design uh this is a building that really resonated with me while i was watching um content on a thing called the uh, Terra 1912 uh, Minecraft server. They do have a um, a website, however, I specifically watch a, um, a channel called WBC Builds, who primarily do uh, the British in that server. And this is Hambridge Hall. I do believe it's created by a man named Lord Goblin in that server. I believe? Maybe? I don't know. It was done on last year's, or maybe the year before that, actually. Uh, their um, top 10 builds, which I believe this was number four, and it definitely has that, I, I don't know like how to even describe it, it's just, it, it's very simplistic and yet still has that little bit of detail and design. And I mean, this originally had a roof, but this looks kind of nice. I, I feel like, however, I need to start building some things ironically, that aren't, um, that aren't original. And I know that sounds weird, but the main reason why is because you can tell that I'm kind of, I, I'm not really very in depth with things that I don't know how to build. Uh, you can tell, like, I have a very set building style. And honestly, I, I think when I do build wackier stuff, or when I build things that are larger, I have more room to make better, better details. So like for instance, the, uh, the House of Commons here, which is about to be torn down. The capital city rail hub. I mean, even this building, I, I mean, it's very gray, but I do like how it ended out turning out. This this, uh, I, I will not take credit for most of the details here. This is actually done by, uh, haha, this is done by someone in the server right now, Arctic. He has a little restaurant in the capital, although he is, um, the king of, uh, Egypt, Olympia, in our server. However, recently, I made this building, the Russian Maritime League HQ. Now, this may end up being, a a quasi server tour because I uh, forgot to do server tours. Um, but you'll see. God damn it! You'll see. Um, I, I use mud brick. I like that. But we, I tried to go for a more the term Tudor medieval. I, I tried to make it more late medieval under the assumption that this was created in the late medieval period and still exists today. Something that, uh, canonically would work, and realistically, it kind of wouldn't, because it's right next to this, which was created in the not-late-medieval period, canonically. 
Obviously, canonically, this was made in the, like, 1600s, but... Shut up. I suppose the term for that is... I don't know what the term for that is. Renaissance. Um, Renaissance? Is that right? Whatever. Uh, is there food? <laughs> we'll see over here. This is just a pretty standard. I just wanted to make a cathedral, and it, it turned out okay. Looks a lot better from the inside than the outside. It doesn't look that bad from the outside, but primarily, um... You can tell it doesn't get a lot of use. We definitely didn't put that much effort into it. We're just not that good at building cathedrals, especially western style church buildings at all. Oh, there's still a little bit of... So obviously, uh, it's been a month on the server. There's been a little bit of griefing. There has also been a little bit of um, very nice... Uh, what's the word? Oh shit, is skills in the Antarctic? He is. Yeah, <laughs> we love moderating a server. So unfortunately, a lot of these uh, buildings that have been a staple of the city are going to be torn down. I'm not sure if I included that. <laughs> but uh, I, c I don't think this was actually completed yet. Now, the main problem with this building is that it's surrounded by nothing. And that kind of makes it stand out a lot more than it should. However, this was originally going to be our version of Scotland Yard, because I watched Bandai Namco's Moriarty the Patriot, and I wanted a police station. And now I'm thinking I want to move the police station somewhere else, and this is going to be the Office of Imperial Organization. So this will be for colonial administration and whatnot. You'll see I have rooms planned out, and I didn't have enough mangrove to finish. Cat. Floating mangrove tree. Uh, I still haven't torn down that house. Uh, yes, you'll see the, uh, the Hambridge Hall is uh, still nothing but a fucking facade. We're going to work on it. I have been working on it. And the main reason why um, I've put off doing a server update is just because everything is like in construction. So it would be damn hard to figure out when I could stop actually doing work to stream instead. I say, oh, that fucking sucks. Uh, I mean, I can I can end up getting them some stuff. I'll I'll get them some diamond stuff. It's sad that like it's sad. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, yes. So. Uh, the main problem with what's currently happening is I haven't the damnedest clue on how to actually organize the city. Or at the very least, I haven't any damnedest clue on what I want to do when organizing the city. For instance, that was where the original uh, Imperial Palace was supposed to be until I decided to make it here. Now that means I have to tear down a lot of um, 
land buildings like this and this, but those were those never got past the first floor wall stages. However, now we have this giant fuck off platform, and I have no idea what to do with it. Over here, you'll see this. Now, what uh, what I'm planning on now, at the very least, is to either a make a staircase up from Hambridge, which would just be that staircase. I don't know why I said make. But essentially this would be officially connected with the Imperial Capital and we could have outer buildings like the House of Commons, the House of Lords. Over there is the Royal Guards um, Royal Guards Barracks, which is not uh, at all lit up or has any rooms. It's just the facade. But right now we've been doing nothing except uh, resource gathering, uh, international whatnot. Turkestan no longer exists. Woo, yay. But we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of tour of uh other nations in spite of that, I think. I'll turn up my waltz music that I have in the background. Which you aren't gonna hear. I'll turn up the Minecraft music so that it isn't just me speaking into a void. Get to get no. No. Horse. All my horses get lost or killed. Now I have to wait for the Minecraft music to actually fucking kick in. But yes, Turkestan no longer exists. Unfortunately, their nation leader, despite being a veteran player, is was a bit of an idiot and decided to get himself banned for being an idiot about things and flagrantly breaking multiple rules a single week. However, uh, we were originally preparing for a war with Turkestan. That, that's primarily when he decided to start breaking the rules during the uh, war and build up to it. So over here you'll see a shitty little wall that was supposed to keep out horses. We're going through the uh, old DMZ now. There's the end portal right outside my base. Now I feel like I can actually go into the end, which is surprising, but... Ah. That's all I have to say. I'm surprised I can actually go into the end now without getting shot by Turkestanis. Other than that, the biggest uh, build-up in the server, which we will be seeing, is the Intercontinental Railway, which spans from the capital city, which you just saw, to Quebec, which is a new Russian colony, which we will be showing you because it is inhabited. That's cool, right? Actual places. <laughs> uh, we're just going through the uh, the hills of Xinjiang right now to get to the old city of Turkestan, which is in Mongolia. Don't question any of it. You can actually see a little bit of uh, the map. Look at that. If E2 Cosmo is over in America causing problems, I'm going to be very upset if I have to ban another person today. <sighs> there, there's a system for these things. It upsets me greatly. Uh, and here we see in the... Uh, in, in, the in our view... <laughs> in our view, the Turkestani city. It was never that good, but... You know, now uh, Mr. Arctic, John Terraformer, and John Good Builder has decided to make it a little bit dilapidated. <laughs> but this was originally the, uh, the old headquarters for NPTO, the North Pacific Treaty Organization. And eventually it became the headquarters for the, uh, what was it, the Old World Alliance. 
the OWA. There's the Korean flag over there. <laughs> no one owns this place. Let's steal some terracotta. <laughs> take some terracotta. No one owns this place. I'll take it. Who cares? Uh, yeah, it was never really that good. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Just wondering if they have any more building material. Ooh, uh, never mind. There's nothing really actually good here. Uh... stuff in their stashes? No? No? No. I don't think I looked in these chests. Uh, we're, we're just gonna loot a little bit before we hightail it out of here. Like raiding horse barbarians normally do. Holy shit, they're just fucking danky. Yeah, for some reason, the leader of Turkestan wanted to have a modern house over here, in spite of the fact that it was not the leader of Turkestan's house, nor does it fit with any of the aesthetics of Turkestan, if you can call any aesthetics of Turkestan being any aesthetics. Having a small fort inside of your large fort Kinda of weird. No more dogging on Turkestan. It's sad they no longer exist, and that the former members of Turkestan just joined better nations. An original Turkestani flag! I think I only have three of these! <laughs> Look at that flag. Well, uh, yep. So we are now going into the borders of Korea, which owns a swath of Asia. Don't question it. It's just, it's just the way it is. <laughs> Fucking mangroves. <laughs> they make a mangrove forest. Kind of. <laughs> we can, yeah, you can see the. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where Korea is. Yes. That is the Juche Tower. I like the Juche Tower. It's cool. You can hear the shit eating grin I have. <laughs> this is just a cool tower. It's made in uh, Shandong. There's a frog. Shit. Okay, we're just gonna have to. Hmm. I don't want to go all the way around. I'm not sure if that glows at night, but it would be damn cool if it does. Unfortunately, the sun is not setting, so... Unlucky. However, you'll see over here, the construction of... Uh, what is it called? Kim Il-sung Square? It's obviously heavily in, uh, work in progress. Unfortunately, it's just the fact that uh, the the leader of Korea has like one other teammate. <laughs> so I mean, him making that and that and this that's that's good. It's not like we can judge him. Delicious floor. I just love the delicious floor. It's so delicious. But we will be going over. Back the way I came. Means I've just gotta walk. Yay. 
don't know why I'm complaining when I brought this on myself. For the cinematics of it, I'm gonna take out the map. Oh my god. Having my field of view not obstructed is kind of weird looking now. Completely forgot that I should turn down my brightness a little bit for um, more scenic things. Believe it or not, Minecraft is not meant to be played with a hundred brightness. It's certainly wacky if you think about it. I mean, eh, well, uh, like it's just always played with a hundred brightness. I, I don't see many people not doing that. I just noticed that this is my border. Why have I not been over here? This is this is pretty nice looking. The spruce biome uh, that I have been cutting down spruce trees in, not that good in comparison to this. This looks nice. Looks really nice. I can make a nice little little town out here. Hmm. I love Siberia. This is such a cool... Oh, there's a Kursk. Is that a Kursk? Is a Kursk the city? What's the lake? Is this Lake Baikal? Is that what it is? What am I looking for? Europa. Just so, uh, when I get over to the area, I can fill out a little bit of the northeast of this map. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of gaming. A little bit of gaming. Just a little bit of gaming. I'm a businessman. I do business. That is not how trees work. Actually, that may be how trees work. Ugh. Yeah, this is a really nice place. I don't think it snows here. I want to build in this spruce bottom. What the hell? Very nice. I'll make a fort out here. It's gonna be our Asian fort. Could ward off against attack against a would-be assailant. I don't know of any, but like, what if, I don't know, North Korea gets overthrown? Or, well, just the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, but whatever, who cares. But antics, but antics, but antics, but antics. Sun is gonna be setting, so we will look at the capital city. When that happens, and then we will be taking the railway to... Actually, no, we won't, because we have to take a little horse down to Egypt. When will the travel end? When will the travel end? When will the travel end? I don't think I'm going east. I'm going, yeah, I'm going west. My horse just not very fast. I placeboed into thinking I have a fast horse? What the hell? It's taking a very long while. Okay, there we go. All of that just to fill out my map, like, ever so slightly. That was pretty pointless, yeah. I'm gonna try to find the actual road into the city instead of... Yeah, well, I, I was actually clearing out some trees over here, I remember that. Is there still some things in a chest over here that I hadn't picked up? Nope. This is the planned dirt road to a planned city in the east, or at least uh, outpost slash village that I've yet to build. 
now you can kind of see just how better cities look in um, in low brightness. Over here we have little little sign. Little house. Not gonna talk about that. Now, okay. The main reason why I want to cut down basically that and then all the buildings over there is just because you can't see the big hall. You can't see the royal palace when entering the city. That's not good. I mean, never mind that. Not like I can do anything about it until I actually do anything about that. Write that down. We will go across the Caucasus Mountains. A little bit of the uh, the planned pagoda that isn't there yet. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, you may notice I'm not giving you a update at all about uh, Tolag's Ukraine. Topical, yes, but um. I suppose that's just a... Uh, late inputs. Uh, as you can tell, it's just a fucking uh, platform, because Tolag doesn't get on that often, so progress with that will be slow. Playing in the game in a different brightness is so Over here, you'll see an actual city. Something that looks a lot better than what I'm making. Yes, yes, this is Egypt, or more specifically, the city of Olympia, I do believe. Maybe. Maybe it's just Cairo. I don't know. Kingdom of Olympia. So, I don't know. Over here is a museum with no things in it aside from pot. Another pot. It's larger. You'll just see a relative, uh, a very thematic city. You can tell the <laughs> the differences between how we plan. However, there have been talks about Olympia just joining the Empire. And a golden block that, for all this time, still hasn't been stolen. Alright, I'm going. If Arctic asks, I was never here. Get him confused. Away! <laughs> oh, just caught me. I'm denying that. Really. <laughs> Didn't happen. Not real. Uh, fortunately, that trip was a bit, uh, a bit slow. Maybe once, uh, Egypt gets a little bit more buildings down, they'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll do a little guided tour with Mr. Arctic. Mr. British himself. Hmm. Before I get back. How do I, 
How do I scale this without eating shit? I feel like I just ate shit. Yeah, there we go. Just seeing the city in a different light really goes to show how much I need to put some lights on the cathedral. <laughs> Yep, that's just not happening. Let's just dump all of this in the dump things in the chest here. Dump things in the chest chest here. horse in the horse pen. Uh, the plan right now is on the auxiliary uh, on the auxiliary <laughs> sides. Uh, we're gonna have this uh, on the same side as over there. We just haven't built it yet. <laughs> no clue. Uh, so there, there'll be two floors on the east and west sides, and on the central side there will be three floors. That should have, like, uh, as much space as possible for basically anything we need when it comes to rooms. So foreboding. Oh, I love staring up at it. It's just so big looking. Yeah, that's great. It's so big looking. We're great at describing things. I've always liked this design. I'm real proud of it. Oh yes, obviously you'll see that the railway station still isn't done. However, you will see. We've started actually working on the underground mall. Very slightly. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> Minsheng Minsheng tea imports. Oh. Minsheng tea imports. Tea. I love tea. I need to actually um. I need to warm mine up. I have some tea. An electric tea kettle, and I need to yeah, just warm it up a bit. It's so over for Antarctica. They'll pull back. That may be a bit loud. That's surprisingly a bit loud even for me. Like that's that's very loud. I'm still just so proud of this. Uh, it's coming together so nicely. And yet I still haven't done work on it for like a while. No, 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 no. Okay. What? What? What are you talking about? So now we will go on a Homeric voyage to the first stop on the railway station, France. <laughs> what? No clue. What? Not much. <laughs> That's loud. That is very loud. Why is it so loud? What? Uh, my teacup's currently full of sugar. What is this full of? More sugar. 
I'll just pour the, sh the, the other sugar cup into this sugar cup. And use this cup. As tea cup. There we go. Delicious. <laughs> no clue. What? Oh. Damn <laughs> What? He's not going to want to be my colony anymore. He's declaring independence. Yes, welcome to uh, great content here. The Discord, what other uh, cool things have happened? Yes, yeah, so Russia has seized Canada, or at least the eastern half of Canada. Uh, the United States of America exists in all but the Rocky Mountains, where the Kingdom of California exists. The Kingdom of Olympia has taken most of Mexico. The Kingdom of Iceland and Greenland now exist, a single kingdom. Um, And the, oh yeah, the Kingdom of Iberia now exists, which we will be showing. Hence why we are going over here. Ah. Oh, raining. It's the perfect time for... Oh. Horse. Uh, we'll take it for this, uh, this tour. I'm starting to think that by losing and... Losing and having horses killed, I just mean, like, I accidentally stick them places. This was originally a, Engl a Russian colony, that being the colony of England. However, eventually it was organized under the same flag as uh, the colony of France and just became the colony of Normandia. Don't question why there's a crafting table up there. I don't know. This was uh, the original Russian Maritime Guild HQ. Let's walk. Look at that. Walk in. The DMV. No further comment. We have townhouses. Ain't that cool? British townhouses? I don't know about that. WH Books stands for Whitehall. Whitehall being the uh, the uh, name of the city inside the col- Okay, so England was originally supposed to be the city which was the capital of the colony of Normandia. So this would be the city, England, because England is pretty small on this map, so it could just be an entire city. And then France was supposed to serve as Normandia's sort of uh, more rural area. You know, with this farm over here, and land out farm areas over here. However, it, it never came to fruition as I let go of the territory so that new people could just... What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? However, that never came into fruition because, uh, like I said, I'm benevolent. Oh yes, this was the uh, colony of Catalonia. It has nothing in it. Here's the uh, the borders of the actual United Lords of Normandy. 
We'll see over here. This is the Rus er, the former Russian-Spanish border. Now it's just the Spanish border. Or the Iberian border. Whatever. Who cares? You'll see over here. Iberia! Ooh, yeah. Don't fucking know what they're doing with Gibraltar. Or, I don't know what they're doing with, uh... I mean, uh, the Strait of Gibraltar. This is more the... Whatever, you, you got what I mean. I don't know what they're doing with this. Uh, Pueblo houses for some goddamn reason. Pueblo houses. Pueblo. Pueblo houses. Pueblo. Pueblo houses for some... Pueblo houses. Also, I believe this is their beetroot farm. Haven't planted um Oh We are going to go back on the railway for great content. Great content, great content. I'm going to try to get a horse. Once I get to the other side of the railway so that I can do the, the tour on horseback, because that would be just better. It's just me and John Britton. You'll see the breadbasket of Russia. Go back. Which is the Belgian Confederation, actually, in this world, because I can't stop ripping off uh, divergencies of darkness. Although in DoD, Canada would actually be called Vinland, I believe. And the east coast of America would be the Belgian Confederation, but like, who can? Obviously, Normandia is a reference to the dual monarchy in DoD. I just really like DoD. And if no one knows, that is a mod for Victoria 2, a grand strategy game made by Paradox. Yeah. Yeah, if you're watching this right now, I'd suggest you skip ahead. Because this is a... Uh, this is a time, man. You know what? I'm just gonna pause the stream. Then when I unpause, I believe it'll... Um, start the stream again. In the VODs, at least. From... The point where we pull in to the station.
All right. Let's just check to see if I actually did that right. All right, there we go. If we can <laughs> see if we can get Arctic to sleep. I think Arctic's holding a grudge now. I don't think he'll let me sleep. Okay then. Yeah, you can see where the bread basket of Russia term comes in. Uh, up here, we'll see uh, leftovers of construction. And yes, welcome to the Belgian Confederation in Canada, don't question it. Canada was founded by Belgians, don't question it. Up here you'll see that it is still kind of work in progress, but basically almost everything's done, including uh, the room of the governor over here. This being the manor of the governor. I do believe this is the flag of Antarctica. I really like that, that's cool. I was hoping we could get a nice view of the farm. Look at that. That is pure fucking profit right there. I'm just gonna And we're just going to walk. Oh, this is all carrots. Why? I mean, I, I guess. Uh, I shouldn't question Seam. I mean, this, he is in charge of Quebec's finances, and so far he's turning up a pretty good profit. Go down here, and over here, you will see, there's a world spawn. Oh. Kinsuke! No one will remember him because I haven't been streaming this for, uh, before... Uh, the most recent wipe. However, he was actually in the first iteration of the server. There have been like four. He's been on this for years. He's a Floridian in a golf team, a bowling team. Weird. That's sports. I know, right? Uh, he originally lived in Sardinia, Piedmont, I believe. I'm just gonna have to walk through the rain in the dark and dreary forest. Spooky! Spooky. We passed into the American border. You know what that means? 
A, we don't talk about that, and B, we we have to be quick, lest Americans join the server. And notice that I'm in America without any permission. Let's go quick. Quickly. Quickly. We must have the tour. We must have server updates. Stupid fucking barn. Stupid barn. Let's go, stupid barn. Go. <laughs> so bad. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to kill one of the animals over here. And a silo, apparently. Yeah, you know, surprisingly this was supposed to be the new capital of America. The main problem is that America doesn't have a capital. I mean, I'd describe it as Michigan. I'll go over to Michigan right now so you can see how good it is in comparison. Oh. I've got what is basically a fucking, uh, what is it? I've got a... What is it? I know it doesn't really work as a term for it, but like, I've got a... Damn! I forgot the term of it immediately. Uh, lighthouse, yeah. Great Lakes! Buildings. This definitely could be better. Now, obviously, this isn't saying that America is bad, but like, what the fuck is this? But, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it, it's very SMP, like, it's very common SMP styling of things, you know. I, that's the best way I can describe it, because, I mean, you know, me, I believe that I've complained a, a lot about why the hell do you call servers SMPs, just call them fucking servers. But... Like, when it comes to, for instance, you know, Dream SMP, ooh, or name dropping, or even, like, the Earth SMP that they did, this style of building with, like, uh, almost fantasy, like, you would see this in a, I don't know, a Pokemon game, like a street design like this, you wouldn't see this in real life. There's no real practicality to it. They have a library, they have a stable, a lighthouse, a farm, and over there another farm. They don't really have anything. Kind of weird in that way. Why do they just have a fucking donkey out here? Why does it have things in it? Why? Uh, we're gonna go down south though. Send out our tour. Unfortunately, the arguably worst part of America. They, they don't have hunger to scavenge for chicken. Give me your flesh. My salvation. Oh yeah, I completely forgot um, the other thing. Oh my god. Fast, it has a bunch of health. What the hell? What the hell? Great. I mean, it, it's got a stupid color, but. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> oh, 
We're going down south over here to see the worst parts of America, that being the south. No uh, IRL comparisons are being made. Just you can see what I mean by that. This isn't like grief. Someone actually lives here. How they live. The animals. <laughs> the animals. What the hell? Why are they doing that? Why? Why? Yeah, so that's Florida, obviously. Also, United Eastern States' main capital. Yeah, this is the capital. <laughs> I love how Florida was just claiming to be the capital without any authority on the matter. Oh, it's the Russian flag still over there. I hate that. Why haven't they torn it down? Is there no one living in Louisiana left? I think everyone just moved to better cities because they were just better. What? I'm not gonna... I was about to like, just sheer. <laughs> ah, well. Wacky. Russian flag still exists, though. There was originally a port over here. I tore down it. Uh, well, I tore down it all so I could get the brick back and just salvage it. But as you can tell, um, Louisiana isn't doing well. Yeah, the South isn't doing that well at all. <laughs> I mean, over here, what I was really surprised about is that the Texans made a dry dock for some day. Why? Mapping. Mapping stacks. Maps and stacks. New Harbor of Houston. Harbor of New Houston, population one. China. China roof. Kind of. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Gold Archer's house. The house. Oh. Well, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the south of America isn't that good. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to show Arct Antarctica, both because they haven't done anything with their buildings yet. Uh, they just have a lot of plans laid out, and they've started working on the like ice Parthenon, which is really cool, and I like it. Uh, so eventually you'll see that. We'll, we'll end it off uh, sitting in uh, I sit I'm gonna sit in Hexo's fishing shop clear out that dirt we're gonna look in here I was not supposed to be in here actually you know what no I am supposed to be in here I sit down here uh, thank you all for stopping by uh, the, uh, you know what, uh, given the fact that this is one of the server updates, I put the Discord code in the comment section down below. Thank you for, thank you for stopping by, like I said, thank you for watching the VOD. Any a bit of engagement helps, it helps the community, helps me, it makes me happy. <laughs> uh, I, I just enjoy uh, any form of communication with people. Just talking to people and um, about the the server and about uh, things to come. Things to come, obviously, being Metro Exodus. I plan on playing Metro Exodus. That is that is one of the things that I plan on playing. One of the only things I tried playing something recently, just a little bit to see if it was good. Um, called Sphere T. You gotta be honest, that's not even worth the uh, John Journo series.
It's not very good. It's not. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not good. Camino like. Uh, but. All in all. I don't have. I don't have a lot of, um. Expectations for games to play. I'll just, uh, see what comes up on Xbox Game Pass. Any of the, uh. Subscription services that I have signed up for. I don't really do a lot of, um. Game purchases now. They do that anymore. I mean, sometimes I go down to a, a used and retro GameStop nearby me, but otherwise, like, I would never go to GameStop or uh, buy a digital game. That seems kind of wacky. But, I mean, all in all, uh, the, the server's doing real good. We're having a new influx of fresh players. They're they're doing things, they've got plans or whatever, who cares, and what matter, doesn't matter, who, you know, who cares, everything's going to have to change. Uh, eventually, uh, hopefully next month's, um, next month's, I say that as if I'm keeping a monthly track of things, but honestly, maybe in 10 days, or maybe 10, 20 days, will be the next server update where we'll do uh I'm gonna use this as the table where we'll do uh just nitpick random shit for no reason where we'll do uh hmm um another tour of the server we'll we'll check in on people maybe we'll do some uh collaborative tours maybe I don't know uh, I know that, uh, Sinsuke probably going to start working on a village soon for, uh, the Belgian Confederation. So that, that'll be nice to check in on, uh, it'll be nice to have a, a tour that will inevitably dev devolve into the both of us making, uh, Trump impressions for two hours. That's probably what me and Sin do whenever we speak. A lot. <laughs> um, maybe we'll have a tour with uh, Mr. Arctic, the Brit. Uh, Thunder. I don't see a tour of Thunder, but, you know, uh, uh, eventually we may uh, see some more uh, missions in Asia, we're hoping. Uh, Korea seems keen on downsizing, the same as me. And letting some new players have more uh, area to work with. Uh, we're, you're entirely welcome to join the server if you want to. Uh, the the code will be in the comments below. I have to keep going. Uh, uh, once again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for um, enjoying my content. Thank you for checking things out. I hope you check more things out. Maybe check out the Discord, maybe try playing on the thing, I don't know, there's a Bedrock thing, or do Bedrock, if you, if, you, if you can't physically do Bedrock because you'll die and you have to deal with Java, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, but, I mean, I can't really do anything about that. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I really do enjoy doing stuff like these just talking just talking just talking seeing things talking I didn't really do a very in-depth tour Ho hopefully we're going to do some more in-depth tours when the newer nations start actually having more buildings and get more buildings myself so i think for a, a final definitive final Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope to see you for the next one. I should do like a cringy, uh, like a 20, like 16 mod review ending, shouldn't I? For like, uh, for like, uh, for these, right? Like a Dan TDM or something. Yogg's cast. Bye!
I fucking 